Hi, beautiful people. Now, I'm going for a, I'm calling it a vacation, but it's a weekend getaway. And that's where we're going to talk about gratefulness and year's resolution. And guess what? I'm bringing you part of my journey. I want you to come and check out this place. It's an amazing, beautiful place. I'm hoping to have fun, enough sleep, and memories. Come with me. This is amazing guys, follow me! This is like, I don't know, just an entrance. See the art, the books! It's like really a beautiful place. Yeah. Hi! This is the kitchen! It's really huge and big! This is still my tea! My friends, Maureen behind the camera. <laughs> Where do you go next? The master bedroom! <laughs> <laughs> the master bedroom! This place is amazing, check it out. So, I was supposed to sleep here, but Maureen got the master bedroom, so what happens? I tagged her along. Check the wardrobes, this place is really amazing, guys. Oh my god, the mirror! The mirror! And the bathroom, you need to check out the bathroom. It's really good. Check the walls. This is really amazing. See? This place is beautiful. Then, the living room. Now, this is our own. Everyone is chilling. And this is done. See the TV? I have to take a look at the See the outside uh, dining and yeah, this is what we came for guys. See, beautiful people, thank you for still watching. Today is the third day. I'm still at Samara guys. This place is beautiful. As you've seen, I hope things should come around. Now I promise you guys we're going to talk about gratefulness and the resolution today and yeah this is the time though my name is daisy thank you for being here with me if you're watching for the first time please subscribe if you're watching for more than once thank you thank you for watching for all this time like this december it's coming to christmas and new year so i have to say happy holidays yes i know the times have been tight but yeah we're being grateful right happy happy holidays now gratefulness and the resolution as I already say, I've prayed about the things, I have researched, this is my revelation from God. You can do anything you want with it. It can be a research, it can be advice to someone, it could even be entertainment. Guys, it's all up to you. Now, gratefulness. Now, you've been grateful to the Lord, right? What is gratefulness? Gratefulness is basically giving thanks to God, you know? Recognizing God's goodness in our lives this year. Yes, I know that has been tight. And with me too, I know there has been tight. But trust me, there has been amazing, beautiful things in there that you can really thank God for. 
So I would love to come from a verse by the psalmist, which is in um, Psalms 42, 6. When my soul is, is in the dumps, I rehearse everything I know of you, from Jordan depths to Hamon, to Hamon Heights, including mountain Mesa. Now, we both know the psalmist world. These, um, these uh, Jordan depths of Hamon and uh, including the Mount Misa, these are all the victories that God had led him to conquer. So it says in my dance, here it says in this in a year like COVID, yeah, we are going to rehearse everything good we know of the Lord. Everything we know of the Lord. No, the Lord leads us to conquer. Yeah, guys, I have things I'm grateful for. To me, I would say, I thank God for my business. I thank God for the friends that have been in my life. Yeah, guys, I've been grateful. I'm grateful for my family that it's well. I'm grateful for when this began, I had a job. Then COVID came and I still had a job. I'm grateful for the friends that have been in my life. For my kids, I'm so grateful for you guys. Eh? I'm grateful for the people I'm, uh, who are loyal to me that I can rely on and um, they can rely on me. I'm grateful guys this year I've had good trips. I'm grateful for I've had opportunities to, to be in Stambik into better. It's a business thing, which I'm sure is enabling me to get better. My business just slowed down, but I started bottles and I've not done bad. I'm grateful for I'm starting agency banking, guys. Huh? I am so grateful. I hope we are ending this year in a grateful mood, guys. There is something in all these times. There is something that God has done. There is something that God is doing. When you look back, there is something, guys. I am grateful. I'm grateful for the people around me, guys. I'm so serving Ninja Manifest. I am so grateful, guys. Guys, I've had five souls, eh? Like, on the graph of the best step, I have had five souls want to cross it. I am so grateful. I'm grateful for I started a YouTube channel. It started as a joke. I don't even know how it started. Like, I've always known I want to do it. But it started, like, thank you, Jesus. And you guys are watching. You guys are subscribing. That's, like, really amazing. Thank you for your comments, you guys. Eh? Like, there's something to look forward to. But you see, we can give thanks to God for anything and everything. Because that's who we are. We are grateful people guys and then i love to tell you that we have to be we have to be grateful for others be happy for someone be grateful to god like thank you god my friend got her job after a long while be grateful to god uh someone started a business someone traveled and maybe it's this time eh? like be grateful now i'm grateful my auntie got her baby and my auntie business i'm grateful uh, my friend got married my sister got married i'm grateful for all the things i know things are tight and uh, they can push you in a place where you feel like, why not me? But listen, there is a principle in the spiritual realm. What you celebrate, you attract. We're not being grateful to attract, but this is what happens. Gratefulness is just a form of faith. So we make our hearts ready to receive that which is of us. We blind ourselves from what is not happening. And we just, we're going to be grateful for everyone. Like, we're going to celebrate people again. Okay? I'm grateful my friend is fine. I'm grateful my friend's mother got well. I'm grateful for, I'm grateful my brother finished his school. Guys, we just have to be grateful now the other thing i'd love to tell you is be grateful for the hard times because the bible says in ephesians 5 20 and you will always give thanks for everything to god the father in the name of our lord jesus christ what does this mean in all things we are going to give thanks to the lord because the lord knows and the lord has made a way for us to come on i know you have put across the job you're going to thank god that when this door closes another is going to open up you're going to thank god that yes this could have happened but i'm thankful for what is going to come out you could have lost a relative but i'm going to thank god that god is healing your family and it's going to walk you out of this and at the end of it all you are going to be fine that is going to fill up a gap that was put in your family we are going to be grateful guys when one thing shuts down another comes up so i am grateful guys i have learned to, be, to give thanks to God in all situations because I know, yes, I am grateful. So, yes, maybe I wanted something to happen. This other trouble, you see, I did. I am grateful that maybe even if it didn't happen, maybe the door shut for a better one to come. That's how it is always with God. When we choose to hinge on those things that are making us sad, we give the devil a joy. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to shame the devil. That listen, you don't have the last say to anything. Yes, you could have messed up my life. But God is still more than able. Because God has provided all the things to us like they are available. We just have to receive them by faith. Now, gratefulness is a form of faith. We can't finish this year looking at everything that didn't happen. Yes, I know things messed up. Even me, things messed up. My business stopped moving like when COVID started. But because of that, I was able to start up flower vases from the bottles. And honey, it has done fine. I'm even releasing a Christmas package for my bottles this year. Yeah. But it all began because of COVID. And so what was meant for harm turned out good. And we are grateful. Now what do I talk about New Year's resolutions? First, I'll tell you that as we're making as we're making our New Year's resolutions, we're going to pray about it. That the Holy Spirit can lead us as we're making these resolutions. 
because God doesn't work out of selfishness and doesn't work out of lust. So many times the things don't work out because it's God, I want a house, I want this, I'm like, no, I have this year, I have this year. But God already says, He has better plans for us concerning our lives. So you want to be at a place where you are doing your year's resolutions and then God's purpose for your life as well. You don't want to be off because you don't want to be first at the end of the year. And then as we're making these resolutions, we cannot limit God. Let the Holy Spirit guide us as we make these resolutions, and then we are going to hand them over to God and say, God, may your will be done in this year. Because guys, I remember 2018 was really so hard for me because I had this, 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 like I had things that happened on my way in my calendar. Now, wait, they did happen and I was so frustrated and broken. So 2019, I kind of just let it go to God, like, God, eh? have you, and you guys, 2019 was so beautiful that has never had learned to trust God in all season and, and let him have his will in my life. Because let me tell you something, guys. The Bible says all things are yes and amen in God through Christ Jesus. You get it? So God wants you to have what you have more than you want it. I can show you what you want for yourself. God wants much 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 more so if we limit him to this small year's resolution we can limit him from doing much more in us he wants our hearts willing and ready for him to work in us to do better things i hope you've been blessed I hope you're having a good time thank you thank you for watching please subscribe tell someone share with someone i love you so much for watching thank you guys till next time i remain gazing